preheating the oven to 350 degrees and lightly greasing a 9 by 13 inch baking dish. Next, cook two cups of elbow macaroni according to the package directions. Drain it and set it aside. Mince a quarter of an onion and set it aside. Cube a quarter pound of processed cheese. Next, let's prepare the white sauce. Melt four tablespoons of butter in a small saucepan over medium-high heat. Stir in two tablespoons of flour. Cook, stirring constantly. You're making what's called a roux, which will thicken the sauce. Slowly whisk in two cups of milk, stirring constantly until the mixture comes to a boil. Stir for one more minute, then remove the pan from the heat and set it aside. Now, spread half of the cooked macaroni onto the baking dish. Next, sprinkle it with half of the minced onion. And salt and pepper to taste. Then, sprinkle half of the cubed processed cheese food. An eighth of a pound of shredded cheddar cheese. An eighth of a pound of shredded Swiss cheese. Then add the remaining macaroni. The rest of the onion. And sprinkle now with a little more salt and pepper to taste. Add the rest of the cubed processed cheese food. Another eighth of a pound of shredded cheddar cheese. Another eighth of a pound of shredded Swiss cheese. Pour the white sauce over the top. Dot the casserole with small pats of butter to taste. Cover the baking dish with foil and bake the mac and cheese in a preheated oven for 45 minutes. Like a crunchy top?